Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where today we are going to be playing a game of put hammer on horse until horse fall down. Because we're taking on a Kieran. And it's our last G-rank Kieran that we have to take on before we meet the requirements for Crimson, Crimson Fatalis that are not defeat regular Fatalis. So, I mean, hey. At least it's something valuable. Though unlike the last time we played the game of put hammer on horse until horse fall down, this time the horse is in a regular hunting environment with Genprey and Ioprey and Velociprey. Or maybe just two of those, I don't even know. Nah, it's just Genprey and Ioprey. But either way. And also, apparently, Remobras. So we've got to find us a horse. And then start putting our hammer on it. While also being annoyed by small monsters. Hey, look, we found a horse. I've, uh, gemmed myself for negate stun, so... At least we won't be able to be KO'd, though... It occurs to me that in this game, Thunderblight isn't a thing, so getting KO'd isn't a huge deal, and I probably should have tried for negate paralysis. But in order to get negate paralysis, I would have needed to get six more Thunderbug jelly. Because while I've got enough for two of the two-point anti-paralysis gems, that's not enough to get negate paralysis so hey we're doing good so far and this Kieran's not quite so massive as the last one dang it and as long as our cat can keep the small monsters off us it's not going to be so bad. Oh. Genprey just had to jump away from my hammer. There we go. Small monsters are gone for now. This music does not really fit Kieran. There's another Genprey. Ow. Two more Genprey. That's even worse. I don't like being paralyzed, but this quest is basically saying, yeah, it's gonna happen at some point. Where you going, pony? Good job paralyzing the Genprey there, cat. Oh, it's always nice to slap a horse's face and actually get a flinch out of it. Would have been nicer to do it before it took a chunk of our health, but can't always get what we want, can we? wish this thing would hold still more often. Because like this, perfectly acceptable. But when it's just hopping around non-stop, running when it's not hopping, that's when we have problems. Don't 
Don't you do your thunder charge at me. Buddy, I, like, just told you not to do your thunder charge at me. And what's the first thing you did? Not your thunder charge, but then you did your thunder charge pretty soon after. It's what we like to call a jerk move. Hey, we hit horse with hammer until horse fell down. But now we need to put hammer on horse until horse fall down more. Because we need horse to fall down. If horse doesn't fall down, quest not clear. Yay, horse fall down more. But we need horse stay fall down. If horse not stay fall down, quest not clear. Horse run. Find horse. Put more hammer on horse until horse fall down. Is good plan. Horse fall down again. More hammering. Ow. Not really very ow, but... Should probably get rid of these preys. Because as long as they're around, it's harder to make horse fall down. Don't do it, horse. All right, that little jerk is dead. Next up is the Io Prey. And it's gone. Horse fall down. Horse not stay fall down long enough for golf swing. Make Redmond sad. Horse fall down again. That was a really good knockdown to get. Saved us some pain. Ow. I gotta do this, pony. Ow.
At least it feels like we're doing way better against this Kieran than we did against the last one. Getting a lot more knockdowns. That much is for sure. Getting more knockdowns is great, because it means we're putting hammer on horse more, and horse fall down more. And put hammer on horse until horse fall down is the entire goal of this quest. I guess in case I die. Because unless I die, the paint does nothing for us. Because this thing is not hard to follow. It's very brightly colored in a very not brightly colored area. Right before it did a taunt, too. Bit of a waste of this taunt, but we did need the stamina. Oh my god, best points! Just go away! I was supposed to be fighting Kieran with a Genprey and Ioprey group, not with a best point swarm. Kill the best boy. And that best boy kept us from getting a golf swing. Where are you going? Oh, 
pony hasn't fallen down in a while. Are we not putting enough hammer on horse? We need more horse fall down. There we go. need you to play nice. Uh-oh. Seriously? That didn't even get me out of paralysis getting hit by that? to sharpen again. Dang it. It was a little too close. Uh-oh. It always follows up that taunt with that lightning bolt. Do I need to not get hit by the lightning bolt? Because it does damage. Which is a shame because... If it didn't follow the taunt with the lightning bolt, then that taunt would be a great time to use a potion. But instead, no, it is not. This taunt, on the other hand, is a great time to do whatever the hell I want to do. Yay! That was a fairly easy curing. Like, we took a lot of damage, but it was mostly just incidental. Like, the last Kieran that we fought on the tower, that was way more annoying and difficult than this one. Also, hey, we carved a horn. That's neat. Now we're done with G-Rank Kirins forever, which is nice. I definitely don't mind being done with these jerks. Especially because they only give two carves. Jerks. So I guess... That means the next time we're going back to that other quest. Of course, we were going to do that whether we succeeded or not, but also means that after our next quest, whether we succeed or not, we're going to have to do a filler quest in between so that I don't end up having two Rajangs in a row at any point. Special Kieran hides. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for this episode. Join us next time when we throw another attempt at Rajang. See you then, friends. <laughs>